How is the practice or trend of storytelling changing? I think that it's become more pervasive. Content is storytelling. More people need content now because everybody needs a web presence, um, a way to put their billboard up. And often that means creating content and telling your story. So that's all it is. I mean, every company has always had to have a story, but it wasn't always as, you know, front facing to the consumer or, you know, business to business because, you know, there's, there is now always somebody sitting in front of a computer that is going to, you know, buy your product or, or use your service or, you know, buy the clothing you're selling and it's in, in front of a computer now. So the way for that to happen needs to be through storytelling. Mm -hmm. So every, everything now, every, every service, every product, every company um, needs storytelling in order to get the idea out. And, and I think that it, there's a difference between, um, you know, traditional marketing speak and the kind of storytelling that, for example, um, Story Made My Company does because, you know, we're journalists. So it's really about um, uh, selling an authentic idea uh -huh. to people. People see through sort of fluffy sales pitches at this point, mm -hmm. and what they really want to do is you want to connect with them emotionally. Mm -hmm. So I think that every company has the job of connecting with their customers mm -hmm. or um, in an emotional way. And that's what stories do. And that's what stories do, whether, you know, you're creating a website or you're creating an app or you're creating an ebook that is, um, you know, a way of promoting thought leadership, the, the values of the company that you have.